Hey yo everyone, Andrew here bringing you another video review and today we're going to be doing Transformers Animated Deluxe Sentinel Prime. A little information about Sentinel Prime. Sentinel is a complete utter prick. Totally jerk. Asshole. Your stereotypical jock. I love him for it. Sentinel Prime has to be one of the most funniest characters on Transformers Animated. Uh, just because he's a complete asshole. Um, he hates Prime, um, has a great distaste for him, he has a great distaste for Prime's um, Autobots, because they really don't follow the rules. And Seto Prime likes everything done by the book. So, Seto doesn't like them at all. Now, Seto is also the reason why Prime got kicked out of the Autobot Academy. Um, now, we don't know the reason why, but he is the cause of it. So we know that. Um, in addition to that, Seto is the, probably on paper, the most well-trained out of all the Autobots. Um, he's really a good balance of Prime, because Prime has more field experience than Seto, but Seto is definitely more well-trained, seeing he completed his academy training. Although they have the same rank, Seto is actually probably second in command out of all the Autobots, uh, second only to Ultra Magnus. So, um, that's about all you really need to know about his character. He shows up here and there. Um, he's a great foil for uh, Prime. They really work well together, the bickering between the two. And I just love Seto. I think he's, I think it's a shit. So anyways, with that said, let's get on to the figure itself. Seto is some kind of snow plow truck. Yes, as you can see there, and he is blue with some orange on him. Again, this is the deluxe class, so as you can see, it's fairly small, fits in my hand. Um, I like the alt mode. I feel as though it is kind of small, and I'll get into that when I go into the likes and dislikes, but I feel as though it could have been bigger. It's very compact. I'm sure Bumblebee is the same size. I don't know. I haven't really taken out my animated figures for a while. But with that said, transformation is pretty easy. Just take this section, bring it back, bring this section out, unlock the arm. See if he'll work with me. Come on. There we go. Bring this section up and connect in the shoulder areas. Bring this down, lock it into place, separate the legs, bring the head up, and bring the plow area down. And that is Sentinel fully transformed in his robot mode. Take a look at that. Now let's get out of the way right now. Yes, he does look like the tick. And yes, he is voiced by the same voice actor. Okay, get out of the way. Nothing you guys shouldn't already know. The um, articulation is good. All the, um, what is it called? All the animated figures have great articulation. So he's going to be able to do some gnarly poses. He does come with some weapons. Comes with his Energon Lance right there. Or Energy Lance. Probably Energon. And they like that word. And his uh, Spiked Energon Shield. Which I like the shield in the show, but it kind of looks crappy in this. Very small. It would have been nice if it was bigger, make it really diesel and badass. You can uh, put these weapons together when he's in alt mode and have them connected onto his alt mode, but it just looks kind of stupid and I put them off to the side. Um, so yeah, I mean, they're okay for weapons. Again, I would have liked to see the shield bigger. I'm not too keen on Lance, but whatever. Whatever. Anyways, with that said, let's go into the good, the bad, and whether or not you should get it. Well, the good is it's actually a really nice figure. It has good posability. It looks like Seto. It's a little bit more blocky. It's not as smooth as he usually is. In the show, he's a little bit more um, smooth. But um, on a whole, it's a very accurate Seto and Prime figure. Uh, with that said, let's go into the bad. The bad is, again, the shield could have been bigger. Second of all, I think this figure would have done a whole lot better as a Voyager class. Um, for scale reasons, but also, you can also make it more of a how should I say, detailed figure. You can put more into it. Not saying the figure is bad, the figure is very nice, but um, I would have liked to see him as a Voyager class. It would have added more to the figure. Uh, but besides that, the figure is nice. I suggest you pick it up if you get a chance, if you see it. Um, he's a great character in the show, although I think my opinions on characters are different from other people. A lot of people may hate Sentinel because he's an asshole, but I love Sentinel because he's an asshole. So yeah, maybe that's just me. But he's a great character in the show, and the figure is nice. The shoulder joints keep on coming out. You have to really lock them in. They don't seem to want to. Oh, oh well. 
Uh, but besides that, good figure. Uh, would have been better as Voyager, but uh, I still suggest picking up. So with that said, I will end the review here. This is Andrew saying peace out for now.